This area, like this area, no good at all. This area, a bad boy, you know. Abi, bad boy, yeah, yeah, no good. It's a very bad area back then. You can't walk here with your phone. Ha. You can't even dress well and pass this side without losing your belongings. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back guys. This one will be a quick one. I want to do a different thing today. Today I'm in one of the biggest club in Anambra State. And it's Anambra State. The name of this place is Opoko for some people that know this place. So I came to this place to know how they are living, how they are coping with life and to see how the environment looks like. And I have my brothers with me. So I have to be sneaky with this. So I'm not attract the attention of the bad boys. So I have my brothers and the person that is taking us on this point in case if something happens. Say hi to the camera. Hi. MK. MK, hi. hi. <laughs> Welcome to Opoko. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm 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 going to talk to you. Hi guys, yes, welcome to Oboko. This is Oboko. This is G Marka Street, and we are here to explore. We are going to be seeing a lot of things that is happening in Oboko. In a lot of there have been a lot of notion about Oboko, but today we are going to show you that Oboko is actually different from what you've known Oboko to be. So, guys, follow us as we go into the streets of Oboko. Come, let's go. Let's yeah, go. he's actually go. the one that is going to lead us on the <laughs> Let's go, guys. For the if you look at this way, you see that these guys, you see how they <laughs> You see that street guys. It's such a beautiful place to be. That's so. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you are shaking the camera. <laughs> okay. Let okay. What can you tell us about Obo? Like this, it's really the first time I'm coming to Bokani. But the yeah, there are more talent here, and I'm okay. Then the floor is. Let's see how everywhere is you know. true. Let's know if what they are saying online is true or false. <laughs> Good morning. Have you ever been to the street of Opoko before? It's so nice. At the entrance of Opoko comes the children playing football and some other people sitting outside their compound in order to see how the day today would be like. And contrary to the fact that there is also a national holiday that makes people see them. So we have to go and explore. Yeah, and there's more people to see the daily activities that people live in. I told you guys that there are so many of activities happening on the streets of Oboko. I am a celebrity to the Nigerian. Yes, one of the Nigerian streets you can get anywhere. I can make an interview. Just call the. Hi. 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 Hi.
Ah, bimbo. How are you? Well, good morning. Mommy, today we are exploring Opoko. So, we want to know how is life in Opoko here. Life is so beautiful. Abi? Yes, we are enjoying it very well. Did he? Yes. How many years have you lived here? Hey, 50, of course. And is this your kind of business that you are doing? Yes. I wow. used it to train my children, that's why. Wow. Yes. Wow. All my children. My, my you use that kind of business to train them? Yes. I, wow. I use it so to train them all. Wow. Mm. Seven children. Yes, sir. Four boys and three girls. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, according to what she said, she said that she used this Akara like business to train almost seven of her, seven of her children. That is so inspiring. Let's just take a bite of this Akara like, and know what it tastes like. Okay. Let's try oh, something. Okay. Hey, okay. 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 This is no, MK, yeah. our tour guide for today. This is my senior brother. Yes. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's have a bite of this Yeah. Today in Obodo, we are going to be trying out different wow. things. Wow. Starting street from the yeah. street view <laughs> and the street food that they are that they have here. It's nice. Mm. It's nice. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's nice. Mm. Uh, it's all right guys so that was um one of the experiences one of the things that you will see in Oboko. you see that Oboko is very loaded you know there are there, there is nothing you will not see in Oboko. we have so many entrepreneurs who contribute their quota like just like you've heard from the woman she said she has seven good children and she has trained all of them from this business of akara so Oboko is fully the let's go guys we're going to be trying out many things here today Look like a mama batago. No, no, no. Oh, back. Oh, he's 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 back. Oh, Good morning, man. Good morning. How do you see life in Oboko? Ha. Life in Oboko is very sweet too. And ah. very good. How? Ha. Everything is just we we just take everything as we see it and here is more affordable and everything is in short. Oboko is very fine. But some people need to complain. What of light and water? We have lights. We have light. That is, we, uh, we have light every day. Maybe they, they, they can give us light in the morning. In the afternoon, they will take it. But they will still give us in the night. We have light, water. We have water. We have well. We have borehole. Even pure water. We have everything. That can make us feel good. You know, because that means so Oboko have developed more. No? Yes. Because from what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing before, they say that Oboko is somewhere local in the slum. 
Uh, they, they don't have water, they don't have light. So they what happens? They can say that Oboko is very local. Mm. But we that is living in Oboko, we know that Oboko is local, but we feel good because we have water, we have lights. Even the governors that the people that they has, that is in charge of all those things, they are now trying for us. We as you can see we have well and we have borehole. Then Pyota people are supplying for us. It's just that the leper that took the light this morning. We have light all night, even yesterday evening. Even very soon they will bring the lights. Yeah. So that is okay. How many years have you lived here? Ha, since twenty since two thousand and five. And you have been enjoying it? Very, very well. Wow. You can see how, how, how I'm shining. <laughs> Am I not shining? <laughs> I'm shining, yeah, so, though. What are you doing, Kwan? Ah, ha. I sell food, though. I mean, Mama put. <laughs> <laughs> I sell food. I sell, well, I sell Gary rice in Domi. Yeah. It's interesting. And the market is going well. Wow. <laughs> 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 Guys, I just saw one thing here. Yeah. Are we checking? Look at where they are throwing from. They just saw something like a few of them. And they are just enjoying that. I just saw the way that they had here. People say that here is the slum, but one thing that I observe here is that everybody is happy living here. Yeah. And there are a lot of times to explore here. Yeah. You know, Popo. Keep enjoying the view of the street of Popo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, <wait>. <laughs> 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 Thank you. You know, Popo, we do not discriminate. Everybody lives, we have this communal living in Oboko. When you come into Oboko, you see people from Anambra, you see people who are from Ebonyi, you see people who are from Imo, all walks of life, and we all do things in common. So Oboko is so, so blessed that people are so comfortable with their neighbors, like nobody feels or thinks their neighbor will, you know, harm them in any way. So that's where you see a lot of people living the way they do. So these are other streets in Oboko. If you if you look through here down to that other area, yes, this is another street in Oboko. And you can see so many children are out playing. Some of their parents have gone out to you know to do their daily businesses and the rest of it. So let's go. We have a lot to explore. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, man. Good morning. Hey. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm going to see this. I'm going to see this. So Let's go through here. So I want to show you guys because it's a couple. So welcome. This is another part of Okoko. This is the place where we produce our opa. The floor, the floor. This is the floor of opa. The one you know. So this is the place where they grind it. They are not grinding it. They will sieve it to make it ready for it to be cooked and eaten. So let's come inside and see this ourselves. Hey. So that woman is busy, 
that these are women who live in Okoku. She's this a city name. So this is the part where the grinding takes place. This is the part where the grinding takes place. If you look over there, you will see the north itself, the Pambara north itself. And that's where the grinding takes place. Don't do that. After the grinding, there will be the first CD and there will also be another second CD until the, 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 the floor is, is um, processed enough for cooking. Anything you want is in Okoku. Everything we have, food is a present in Okoku. So I've already told you guys that on the street of Oboko you can find different kind of things. And this side is where they used to sell palm wine. This is the person that is selling it. She's actually running from the camera. <laughs> and this is MK and uh, I see your brother. <laughs> so when you come, they will help you to. Can I open this thing? Okay, this is it. Come and see. Filled with palm wine. And they said it's gotten from Abo Delta because they are from Abo yeah. Delta. So I came here and she said I should test the palm wine and see now. We are on testing the microphone. <laughs> and it's very nice. It's yes, yeah. very nice. <laughs> so <laughs> test and see. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, what let me get it's so nice, it's so nice, it's so nice. It's so nice. <laughs> that it does not drink. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chama. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Yeah. Let's, go, let's go to another street. How much do you sell? You don't sell this one. Why don't you sell it? What's the cost? What's my cat? Hey, don't sell this one. Can't get it. It's fine. 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 <laughs> so what I told you guys from the beginning, I told you guys that we are going to be trying out different food on the street of Oboko. And we are going to be having different experiences that we have not experienced before. So today, join us and don't, don't miss out on this video. This is the best time and entry because from what I, I was hearing, that it's, it's a place that yeah. if you enter, they will cut your leg, they will cut your head. But it's good, yeah, to, but no, it's good to, to explore. Yeah. 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 You see everything. Ooh. I don't know if it's because of MK is with us. Maybe. <laughs> 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 you can't 
Yeah. 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 I can't. I wish I could. They will be like, they will be like, boy in the camera. They will be watching me. They will be watching. They will be like, why would you call me? You are looking inside. No, no. Why are you shy? Why are you shy? Shy, shy, shy. Why shall I shy? Hmm. I think that's good. Uh huh. I like that. The saddest. Nice. Okay, we move. We move the permanent side. So nice. That's good. She's only us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, out to the fresh air, Kukuku. Yeah, we are. Okay. 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 This one you see in the street. What are they using here is square water. Pass the ball. Hi. Oh, coach, I need to get a ball. Hmm. 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 I don't know, I didn't ask them, I'm not seeing camera before. So they have to. You can look funny to observe them. Okay! Good morning, man. Okay, I'm going to stop. Ah, the blue truck here. Look at the woman for this image. Where is she? Oh! Eh! She is working now. Yeah, she's not working now. Just look at what I found now. Oh, there you go. Chalk. They are trying to send writing it. chalk here yeah. on the street of Ogun. Do you want to speak with her? Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the first time I have seen where they produce chalk. Why am I the one doing it? Wow. Huh. I need money to produce so what I told you guys? I just saying, I'm only okay. I'm only that is that the country will be to explore Oboko. Because people already believe that Oboko is for the betting minded. Or Oboko is for bad boys. There are so many things you have to happen in Oboko. What do you have to say about Oboko? And what is the experience? Guys, guys, here's the trial. Oboko is not before it is a bad area. But now, the yeah, government have changed it. Another 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 dimension. Another dimension. Huh? Yes, yeah, What did they do? Maybe they have put uh, some sheep, uh, sheep rice, and sent some uh, security to some sheep to take care of the dark bulbs that we did before. So, do you mean that if outside and are going to go with you, that they will not, they are not going to do it? They will not have that attack before. Uh, that, yes. I have to change it. But before, if you come to this place, don't you have to? Yes. Oh, wow. Before, but now, sometimes, that is, I have already changed tomatic garlic. Yes. Yes. I changed it garlic. Okay, man. How is my kids today, man? Thank God, though. Yes. It's fine. Yes. Oh, look at my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. 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 Good morning.
Right. The road is uh, going bad. Yeah, I think because that the government um, needs to show concern in this side. Yeah. At least we do a better road for people. Oh. Okay, guys, so while we were showing the streets of Oboko, we met this woman who sells mango. And to be frank with you, I never expected to see this because probably I feel this is something you see in the market. But here in Oboko, we were able to see a woman who sells some native stuff. She has mango, she has snail. I can see snail here. She has this sycamore and some other things here. So we are going to be asking her a few questions uh, to know how and where she gets this particular fruit and this um protein so good afternoon ma we are happy to be with you please can you tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and how your business is going my name is shinge and a voice state local government this is my market i buy it in um, oba mm. yeah oba and I've been selling it normal normal. Wow, for Oba? Eh, for Oba. Ah, for Oba? Ah, for Oba. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's, wow. that's, that's good, yes. We are actually from Oba. Oba. You know, that's where we, we came are, all the way yes, from Oba. Down to this place. Yes. So we are happy that we are seeing something that came from Oba. So, if you're in Oba, really. Yeah, if you're in Oba. All right, how much do you spend the bag? Four, five hundred. Four, wow. five hundred. I will sell So, she sells for 500 naira. Wow, this is good. All right, so my, how long have you been on this business? Hey, since 2008. Since 2008. How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? My business is going on. Some people are just coming here to buy markets. And then I carry going to look outside. Said the goose. All right, so there has been a lot of things we hear about Oboko. We hear that Oboko is a rare place that people who are in Oboko, they are all thieves. That if you enter Oboko, they will collect your phone, they will do this one to you and the rest of you. What can you say about that? <laughs> My brother, <laughs> since I've been in Oboko, nobody thieves for me. Oh. Okay. Nobody collect my phone, oh. <laughs> nobody collect my child, I, I live in Opoko. <laughs> Since 2 8, I did Opoko, nobody collect my money, oh. so I know the life. Maybe I go see her for here now. <laughs> so guys, you've seen it, she said that she has been in Opoko since 2008, and ever since then, she has her children intact, her money intact, nobody has actually stolen from her. So guys, you see that Opoko is so blessed. Nothing of sort is actually happening in the book. So I about now we're going to be buying from her. So please do sell to us. We're going to be buying this uh sweet mangoes. They are looking so fresh. All right, see I five hundred. Yeah. Five hundred nine is yeah. equivalent to zero point five dollars. What happened to No, we don't need it. Is it all? Wow. It's okay. Thank you. All right, man. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, so we have another customer who is coming to buy. So it's actually uh, the, uh, the truth that she sells mango. People know her that she sells nice mangoes. Yeah. When you see, we have brought customer for you. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Very beautiful, Abi. 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 You see, I'm very if you need me, I can't No, get good me. No, no, I'm very good. Get all right, the bed. I mean, I'm a little bit. I'm a little All right, so, so we we got this notion that you know, but one thing that is peculiar in Oboko is that you can, for you to be able to see an obstacle, it's very, very difficult. And we are seeing one obstacle here. And they say before you have, you'll be able to see one, you will count up to five bungalows before you will see an upstairs. 
and is looking as though it's true. It's true yeah. So this is one street in Okoboko, and we are all we are seeing <laughs> just one. this. Yes, in this street yeah. of Okoboko, Ejirika Street in Okoboko. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I told you guys that today we are going to explore Boko and house on experiences. So these are the kids that are playing ball on the street of Oboko. It's rare to see this in, in the city. But as you can see, this place is a popular known slum. And you can see how joyful, how joyful they are. And very happy playing the football. So let's go further. It's plenty. country. I think that Boko is a school. You sort of, I mean, but you watch, you see, they almost all the world is contaminated. So, government needs to show concern in this side to make sure that all these things are regulated. How is life in Oboko? Yeah. Life in Oboko is very balanced. But they say life no balance, but we do balance inside. I mean, you know that there's one this notion that people already have that Oboko is a slum and it is very bad for people to come come in. Mm, that was, there are many bad boys here. Yeah. So that what do you before. think about it? That was before. It's no longer now. You can see I can walk freely with my phone. Yeah. Walk anyhow I want. As a responsible person, I don't need to be afraid or panic of anything. So yeah. That was back then. Because it's no longer like before. Yeah. Well, it's not a change manner. But you live there, no? Yes. So why I is it possible for them to call their phone for you that is even... Uh, a resident. That was then. If you are not into what they are doing, that means you need to surrender. Yeah, you need to surrender. So, but now we are safe. All right, and everything is perfectly moving. So you can tell them that Toboko is now safe. It's not very much safe. Well, some people are saying that since um Governor Soludo came and did some infrastructure development in Oboko. The Oboko have been improving that there is no soy story again. Yes, yeah. that is very much right. Because yeah. at night now you can freely walk anywhere you want. We now have street lights, good road. So many places have been mounted that they will construct that have been constructed to build roads in some weeks coming now they will start work. Um where we are now is a place called um, Zone 9 in Oboko. Back in those days, this area now is known as Zone 9 Ukumango. Ukumango. Zone 9 Ukumango along Chidebele Street. Normally, the name of this street is Denis Okonko, but we popularly call it Zone 9. Down there, that Zone 9 that is in Mazop office in Oboko. That is it down there. The way you are referring to this street, I think it's, very, it's a very bad street. It's a very bad area back then you can't walk here with your phone ha. you can't even dress well and pass this side without losing your belongings let me hide my phone for you. no no need <laughs> but now we are freely walking walking with our phone walking with our cameras nothing happened yeah. so it's very much safe now so everywhere is, let, let's go there so that you can see you yeah, can see that um, zone nine as it was easy Guys, we're here to verify the popular notion that people have about this. But when we are seeing this area is now.
Don't buy. Don't buy. Don't buy. Don't buy. Don't buy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for our salute. Yeah. Yeah. Our salute. Yeah. Okay, where's it now? Okay, we're not cool. Ta, 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 ta. Don't buy the prep. No, it's a way now. So you get away. Nah, I said, I know my salam to you. Basically, come, come here, man. So you don't. Governor of Anambra State, I've already built some things here and have already developed this place. So this particular place is no longer dangerous for people to drive or stay. People can walk around with their phone nowadays. As many, they say that as many if it's those days that this is my camera and this is my phone that I'm with now, this area that I am now, that I will not go home with them. So, it's a good thing that another state government is doing their work and the government in charge, they are doing their job. Just that they need to work on this road. Though they say they have commissioned the road already, they, are, they need to work on all this road. That is just one thing that they need to do for Mokotuki people and then develop build some houses for them because all these houses they are living in passive is an old building houses so to get more update on this channel kindly like this video click the subscription button and turn on the notification button so that you get all our updates once our video drops and don't forget share this video see you in my next video thank you for watching So guys, we have come to the end of this show.